Welcome back to The Legal Brief, the show where we crush the various legal myths and misinformation surrounding various areas of the gun world. I'm your host, Adam Kraut, and today we're talking about the Keep Americans Safe Act, which, as you probably guessed, isn't going to do that. SB Tactical, the originator of the pistol stabilizing brace, set the bar for innovation and product development in the PDW pistol category. From the insanely popular SBM4 to the adjustable SBA3 and even kits for pump action firearms, SB Tactical braces are available for a wide variety of firearm platforms in fixed, adjustable, and side folding models. To get 15% off your legally transported and carried pistol braces, use the code TGC15 over at sb-tactical.com. The Keep American Safe Act was reintroduced this year in both the House and the Senate by Representative Ted Deutsch and Senator Robert Menendez. The two of them also held a press conference that had some real gems, more on that in a bit. The companion bills would amend the Gun Control Act to add the definition for the term large capacity ammunition feeding device. Boy am I hungry. The term would be defined to mean a magazine belt drum, feed strip, helical feeding device, or similar device, including any such device joined or coupled with another in any manner that has an overall capacity of, or that can be readily restored, changed, or converted to accept more than 10 rounds of ammunition. Excluded from the definition would be any tubular device for 22 long rifle ammunition. The folks over at Henry Rifles are breathing a huge sigh of relief right now. Whew. In addition to amending the definitions, the bill would also implement a new prohibition of large capacity ammunition feeding devices. Which would prohibit individuals from importing, selling, manufacturing, transferring, or possessing any devices that were not lawfully possessed prior to the effective date. There is a grandfather provision for magazines that are in the possession of a person at the time of adoption of this bill if it were to be passed into law. And as commonly seen in this type of legislation, there are some exceptions for the United States departments or agencies, law enforcement, licensees under the Atomic Energy Act of 1954 for security purposes, retired law enforcement who had the magazines transferred to them at the time of their retirement, or ones that they had purchased for duty use prior to their retirement, and for licensed importers or manufacturers for testing or experimenting with authorization from the Attorney General. The bill would also require any large capacity magazine feeding devices manufactured after the date of enactment of the proposed legislation to bury serial number and date of manufacture. As of the filming of this episode, the Senate version of the bill currently has 29 co-sponsors and the House version has 76 co-sponsors. Both versions have been referred to their chambers' respective judiciary committees. Now, remember when I said the press conference had some real gems? Here's what Senator Menendez and Representative Deutsch had to say. Menendez said, The Keep American Safe Act would finally limit the sale of large capacity magazines that are not designed for hunting or self-defense. Inaction on gun violence is not an option, and anyone who refuses to address a real emergency like this one is complicit in the carnage. Deutsch added that whether you're using a firearm for sport or self-defense, there is no need for a magazine that can hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition. Before I go any further, let me know down in the comments what that statement brings to mind. All I got from it was that politicians are attempting to spin the ability to possess magazines that hold more than 10 rounds as being inconsistent with self-defense or hunting, a fact known to be patently false. Never mind the constitutional implications. With gun control being proposed at a mind-numbingly fast rate, it's imperative that you guys take the time to contact your senators and representatives and demand that they vote no on these bills. No, seriously, that's how things work. You need to do the legwork to stop stuff like this. That's it for this episode. If you learned anything from the show, help us out, hit that like button, make sure you share it around with your friends. Don't forget to get subscribed, and if you enjoyed the video, consider supporting us via the links down in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching. There is a grandfather provision for magazines that are currently in the possession of for magazines that are in the possession of an Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the bill would also require any large capacity ma <laughs>